Hello guys, uh, today I want to do a injector balance test on my uh, Chevy Suburban. Um, in order to do this test uh, we need to adapt our fuel uh, pressure gauge to our fuel rail uh, um, test port and um, what we're going to do uh, nicely about the GM is that uh, this test is actually built in into the uh, power control module so if we have a scan tool that has a bi-directional control we can uh, do this test a lot faster, a lot easier. Uh, if, we, if you work on some other models you will have to have an external source to power your fuel injectors which is something like this and uh, uh, you'll have to uh, physically unplug each injector, connect this tool and, uh, and activate injector uh, uh, at the same the same period of time, uh, same amount of time, and w look at the uh, how much uh, uh, pressure has dropped on your on your fuel gauge, uh, and um, so we're gonna do on all injectors, and we're gonna compare that uh, uh, drop in pressure and see if uh, some of the injectors are spraying more or less fuel. Luckily, on the GMs, it's already built into the software, so we can do through bidirectional controls. We can activate injectors. Um, on some models also it's difficult because injectors are covered with the intake manifold so you have to physically remove the intake manifold to gain access to the injectors in order to use this external source. Uh, so um, that's the way that that's done. Uh, so I've talked to a friend of mine, um, uh, Robert from Texas, and uh, he was working on uh, another GM car that had a, um, some drivability issues and he did this test so uh, after we kind of talked about it um, we were uh, came to conclusion that it might be better to do this test and utilize a scope uh, instead of uh, um, physically, you know, looking at the gauge and, uh, and uh, uh, write down your rest pressure and uh, an activate injector and then write down what's the, how, how much your pressure has dropped. Uh, it would be easier to use a picoscope uh, or any other snap-on scope, doesn't matter, and uh, use that method uh, to uh, do injector balance test. Uh, so today I'm going to show you guys um, how easy it is to do that and how more effective it is to actually utilize the scope instead of just, you know, running everything down, and, um, and, um, uh, which takes a whole lot more time. So, as I said, I have, a, I have my uh, 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 fuel pressure gauge connected and also have my, uh, my, uh, inje uh, my, uh, uh, Sorry, um, pressure transducer uh, connected to my uh, uh, fuel gauge. Uh, so now we're gonna look at the um, um, voltage scale. Basically, on, on my picoscope, I was able to uh, customize my picoscope so I can actually see the pressure. Um, and I had a video how to customize the picoscope. I do the, the, the custom probe. So what I have is my uh, uh, five volt. Uh, uh, a regulator here that's connected to my um, uh, pressure transducer and uh, it's connected to my to my picoscope and now we're going to do a uh, test uh, I got my key on so um, so we're going to do now I'm going to turn on my uh, regulator and you can see we're reading a pressure of uh, uh, something like 40, 46, 45 uh, psi um, I have my uh, picoscope set up. Uh, I'm only on the channel one. Oh, that's all I need. Uh, I'm on a 20 seconds per division. It's going to give me a little bit over three minutes per screen, and that should be enough to do actually all eight injectors. Um, so uh, right now I'm going to use my uh, bidirectional control, the scan tool with bidirectional controls. So we're going to go to in, uh, let's go back. So we go to uh, functional tests, and then uh, go to a uh, injector balance test. And um, this way we're gonna. I got no communication. I need to turn the key on and off again. Let's see. Go back all the way. So uh, again, what we're gonna do? Uh, so we're gonna go to engine and. Uh, should communicate now. Functional test. Let's see now. Inject the balance test. Okay. So um, 
again, when you, when you uh, connect your fuel gauge, make sure you don't have any leaks. And uh, now we can uh, proceed with, uh, with our test. Uh, what we're going to have, uh, we're going to have all eight injectors lined up on the screen, and we're just going to go all eight of them, you know, one by one. Uh, the PCM is going to let us only use this injector, pulse injector, only once. Uh, for the reason if you do it more, more than once you can hard lock your engine. So uh, let's just uh, start our capturing and uh, okay here we go. So I'm going to go injector number one. You can see that fuel is now it's fuel is stabilized. Injector one and now we see a drop in the pressure. Go continue. Go injector number two pressure. Now we have to wait for the pressure to stabilize. Let's continue again. This is injector number two. You guys can see my skin tool. Okay. Go continue. And we're just going to fly through all these injectors. This is injector number three. Next is injector number four. Again, this car does not have any problems. Uh, I just want to uh, show you guys how fast and easy it is to do this test with the lab scope. Instead of uh, looking at the gauge all the time and record your rest pressure, record your minimum, minimum and max pressure, we can just let the scope do all the job for us, and uh, then we can just, you know, see what injector is what because we know it's the this is number six. We can measure how long the computer energizes each each injectors. Uh, injector number seven, and uh, you know the uh, very important is now we can actually see the rest pressure is pretty much the same every single time. And uh, before we start the, the test, and the uh, last one is injector number eight. Please continue, and now. Uh, the test is done and uh, I'm just going to exit and literally it took, uh, I'm just going to pause this right now, uh, it took like two minutes literally to do this to do this test and it's really nice, we can see all injectors, how they uh, energized, how the, uh, the, the rest pressure, the, the, the bottom pressure, we can zoom in, uh, we can do, I mean literally in two minutes, you know, once we set everything up, we zip through these injectors and uh, finish the test. So this is uh, injector number. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can see, the rest pressure was always around uh, uh, 50. Uh, one second. Uh, around uh, what was the uh, 50, uh, 40, 45 psi, 45 and a half. And uh, each injector, this is the um, the minimum pressure. We're pretty much the same. They all dropped around uh, down to uh, something like a 19.4 psi, which each injector uh, uh, went to like dropped to 20, a little bit over 26 psi. So if we have injector that sprays more or less fuel, it's going to stick like a sore eye. We're going to be able to see that right away. And uh, of course, with the picoscope, now we can we can zoom in uh, on on the. And so we can actually see now how long actually computer doing uh, energize these injectors. This is the time when the, uh, the computer is actually pulsing injectors, and it, each test takes around 2.6 seconds. Uh, and uh, that's it. I think this is the uh, very easy test to do, especially on GM cars. Uh, 2.54. Uh, Point six, two point, okay, so we, we know that because two point, this is just not relevant, but uh, well, what we do need to see is we have to make sure now that uh, rest pressure is the same, and if it's not, we can now actually, we can measure it, you know, if they're one of the, if the rest, rest pressure, uh, we just, you know, measure differential in pressure, but uh, if one of the, we just, you know, instead of, instead of writing everything down, we actually have everything on the screen right away, it's a lot faster, and um, I mean, I think this is the, uh, the best way of doing it, then, then you know, uh, it literally takes takes two minutes. It's like right, right there. This is like a two minutes mark. Uh, we were done with all injectors. And again, this is it's very nice of GM that provides the uh, 
uh, not all GMs have it, but like my Suburban has the, uh, the Schrader valve uh, test port that can adapt my fuel gauge and uh, you know with a cheap uh, pressure transducer it costs like 20 bucks and you make yourself a, 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 a Five volt, uh, five volt regulator for another 20 bucks, and uh, you can do this test in no time at all. Of course, on other models, we'll have to use a external source, but even then, I think it's using the lab scope is actually a lot faster than writing everything down. And if there is any uh, anomaly on the, you know, injector, we can we can see that you know you know if it, again if it drops more pressure or less, you know that's going to be the problem. But now it's easily see you know like I want. And, uh, injector one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, now we know which one is not working correctly. So, okay, guys, but that's uh, all I have this time. I'm sorry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and um, see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.